Now, this was a tricky stand get around. Like, there was no way Dopio could have won on his own anymore. That or he lost the chance to win on his own. Because Metallica is, uh, it's a tricky stand. Yes, the stand is physically weak. But just because something's physically weak doesn't mean it can, it cannot beat you. As long as you know how to use your stand to its fullest potential, you can be nearly invincible with it. You have to understand the nature of your stand. And Risotto knew the nature of his stand fully well. The Metallica, wow. That's that's a crazy stand right there, man. Because they make you invisible, magnesium, where pretty much as long as you're in the five to ten meters to your target with iron and almost anything in this world has iron in it. So so you pretty much turn anything into iron as long as it has that magnetic pull to it. So one day you're walking up, you can be a dog, you can be a frog, a bird. It can even be the water itself. It can turn into mainly just razor blades. It has to be sharp blades. It can be any other kind of iron metal. So Metallica is still limited. So it can't be overpowered. Its drawback is that it can only do sharp metal objects made of iron. Which... I guess it's useful for an assassin, but if you need other things, I guess it's not. But still, very dangerous. So you can do knives, razor blades, scissors, swords. Well, not the edges of them. Just as a pure, pure metal. So I guess not swords. Well, it depends, anyways. But nonetheless, Metallica was a very interesting set. And it's just an episode. It's just good to watch. We also learned that Dopio can also use limit of King Crimson. King Crimson can actually see into the future. It explains some of his abilities where he can see the reason why he's able to erase time or go forward into it because he can see into the future so he knows what's going to happen more or less a couple of seconds. Maximum 10. It's always 5 or 10 seconds. Most times it be stands and stuff like that. That being said, Dopio can only do a limited amount of it. For instance, he can only see the future. Ten seconds into the future by his hair, which is explains the opening where he's seeing Risotto in his hair and he's acting all strange. These past two episodes have proven that of what that meant in the opening that he sees the future through his hair and he's going to use King Crimson's attacks only limited so he can't erase time. And with Risotto, Risotto himself was a very smart dude. And again, he was the leader of the assassin skill, so that makes sense why he was the leader. He was very cautious. He was deal cautious in a way, where he made sure he analyzed his opponent to see their strengths and weaknesses, their personality and their nature. To a point where he realized that Dopio was a very caught very cautious, panicking kind of person until he realized he starts glooming with confidence and as if he could win and they weren't eyes of a young man but eyes of an older person. So he has, of course, when you're an assassin, you need to pick up all those kind of traits so you know your enemy, especially the one that you're trying to kill. But that, that being said, it still wasn't enough because it was outside interference. Let's face it. Um... Risotto would have had it in the bag. That, or, um, it would have been more likely that the boss would have came out. The true boss would have came out of Dopio and then finish off the battle, but he's doing his best to keep his identity. So, the stand, however, worked against him. Because Dopio had barely any iron or auction within him, he was might as well be dead. No breathing, no pulse. Because of that, Aerosmith couldn't pick up on him, so according to that's the thing about um, sonars, it can only pick up on like like heartbeats and heat waves and stuff like that. But however, someone can still be there, but they can be holding out, like maybe holding their breath or something, or just staying still. So that's one of the difficulties of just seeing only through sonar. It really sucks. He doesn't have an actual camera on that thing, so you can actually see that. Imagine if 
Naracha had a camera on Aerosmith, he would have spotted the boss and just finished him off like that. But unfortunately, that's not how it is, because every stand has its drawbacks. Because if it wasn't, it would be way too OP and stuff like that. That explains why Fugo left with Purple Haze. Now, the stand worked against them because the only person that Naruto could see was one person, and that was Risotto. And Risotto was, of course, full of iron and full of oxygen. So, it was more of waiting it out. He knew that Naruto and the gang were around. So, by waiting it out, by having his oxygen completely drained, Aerosmith couldn't pick up on him. So, don't be old and beat Risotto. It was... Naracha by outside inner freaking interference. Oh man, the irony. This was ironic. You lost by almost defeating your opponent in front of you, but you got killed by the opponent behind you because of your own ability. That kind of sucks. Now, if Naracha saw two people there, well, since two people there, Naruto would have been more conscious. He would just go out shooting guns blazing. They would go up and analyze the situation. But since there was only one person, Rosotto died off. And there you have it. I really did enjoy the animation and the artwork. The tensity of how freaking Diapo was going to get out of this situation. And he almost did it. Like, it was freaking luck. Luck. And then again, the fortune teller did say that he has good luck on his side. So that explains, well, the boss has good luck on his side. I have to say, um, Araki has outdone himself when it comes to good, really good antagonists in his stories. They're always interesting, full of personality, mystery. And even they show them struggling sometimes, like they do with Kira, where Kira would struggle and he'll learn that he needs to improve and the same thing with Dopio and the hidden boss you know they were about to lose this if it wasn't for um, Naracha and stuff so yeah this amazing Jojo episode I guess it's <sighs> how will they top this is the question you know how will they top Nar um, Dopio in this hidden boss. I don't think Araki can top himself with this. This was probably the most bizarre antagonist and probably one of the most bizarre battles so far within part five. Well, anyways, they got rid of all the assassins. All that's left, really, besides the boss, is also the guards. So we have to see what happens next. What will become of Diapo? Because right now he is seriously injured. He's going to find some way to heal himself, because or else he's just ugh, out there. Will especially that he's on the site for a Bakio stand, um, Moody Blues in a way, because his stand remembers can record things. So we all know that he's number one on the priority list of taking him out. So we have to see what happens on the next episode. Anyway, that's like that for JoJo Bizarre Adventures Golden Win. I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I know I am. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload. Macro Man Man, sign out.